Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Sims 4 video on my channel. Today we're building a small island home here in Sulani, which is not really an island home because as you probably know, we don't have the option of building uh, islands here, even though we have the terrain tool, but unfortunately on water lots, this tool is disabled for whatever reason. I think it would just interfere uh, with the game too much. So they just decided to scrap it completely on these lots. So my initial plan was to use a foundation to create some kind of artificial island here and then disguise it with a lot of uh, rocks and plants. But this was really difficult because rocks keep jumping around when you try to place them uh, next to the platform. So I decided to go for a less natural look and make this also less realistic by just pretending someone built a kind of artificial island here um, with these rocks which were basically here which I think was the right decision because I really like the end result of this build uh, and it's one of my all-time favorite micro homes I've done so far so if you want to download this my uh, gallery ID is in the description below as always uh, but maybe I should give you a bit more information uh, on this build beforehand so this would qualify as a micro lot if you have tiny living so uh, you might want to consider the perks you get from that and it also uses only one pack which is island living so you can download it with base game and island living only no other packs required so island living is actually one of my favorite packs of all time because it gives us one of the best worlds here in the game and also some of the best uh, normal objects and also debug objects as you can see here uh, most of the plants I use in this build are debug objects, uh, except for the palm trees and I think some of the flowers which are uh, from base game. Uh, so because we can't use the terrain tool here and also no terrain paint, I couldn't uh, work on the ground as much as I would usually, as you can see here. So I had to come up with a different idea how I could add those patches of grass in between uh, the sand so I decided to go for uh, green flooring which is actually I think considered as grass and then covered it with some more plants uh, to give it a bit more texture and I also added a lot of these rocks to kind of create some natural uh, border from the sand to the grass area which in my opinion looked very nice I usually don't use the red stones because they don't fit most of the time but here I think they work uh, very well with the red uh, foundation but unfortunately I changed it out to uh, the normal more bluish one which I think just fits the whole build a bit better however I kept the red stones afterwards because this build should be fun it should be really colorful and less serious so I decided uh, just to use whatever I like and I think what I was going for here was um, someone kind of found this place and decided yeah I'm gonna build my own personal paradise here I really wanted this place to be as remote as possible but as you can see we're like 10 meters from the shore so it's not really a remote island but we don't have the option of creating a lonely island somewhere out in the ocean of Solani which is unfortunate. I think they should add uh, a lot, which is only water, maybe with an island on it, so we can build our very own island homes. You can only reach by boat or swimming, maybe. I just think there's so much wasted potential for stuff they could do in The Sims, which is so very unfortunate. But it also helps people in being creative, I think, because we have to figure out solutions for problems we have in the game and if you want to build something that is not your ordinary suburban uh, family home which is a bit different I think you have to put the time in which can also be fun I actually enjoy um, building stuff which seems difficult or not possible and trying to figure out solutions I mean people have built some crazy stuff over the years since we got this game and with every expansion people explore uh, different possibilities and also different methods of building so back to the build what I actually forgot at first was a way how people could actually enter the building so I found this ladder here 
and I tested it with a sim so it works and sims have to swim here. I later added some kind of dock or uh, bridge which isn't functional because it's a debug object uh, but it looks good so I kept it. I also added a boat which is not only for show it's actually usable. I tried it but I placed it somewhere else later on and I thought people would probably need a boat. If you live on an island you uh, want to go places you take the boat so I uh, placed it here and removed the uh, other small kind of rowing boat uh, which was here first uh, because I think it didn't look as good as the sailing boat, catamaran, whatever you want to call it. And what I also did here was add some furniture outside first because I want this build to feel full, not cramped, but full. And so I actually added a lot of objects, which was uh, kind of difficult for uh, the landscaping because I added so many plants and it kind of felt odd because there was nothing around, no uh, rocks, no reef, no nothing. So it was kind of difficult to make this look natural, which it really doesn't in my opinion. So I said this build is less serious and more of some kind of fun build uh, people can use if they want to play with it. So one thing that was bothering me the whole time building until this point was the roof of the house because it was kind of flat, it was kind of boring, but I couldn't add a second story because it would just be too tall. So I did some additional work on the roof later on because it kind of looked stupid in my opinion. And here you can see the dock I was talking about earlier. So I want to create some kind of pretended passage to the island which is not really there because you can use it. Uh, you have to swim there as I said uh, before. I also added a lot of plants and uh, more little details to the exterior before I moved on to working on the interior which was kind of a mess because the house is very small which you will see later on. And to be honest I like working on the exterior just a bit more. Uh, it's, it's what I prefer doing. I mean I do a lot of uh, interior as well especially for my shorts so I like doing that as well but I just prefer working on the exterior. But I mean there are different types of Sims 4 players. There are those who prefer uh, to build stuff and there are those who prefer to uh, create sims and there are people who just want to play the game and download stuff from other people like me. Let me know in the comments below what kind of player you are and if you prefer doing the exterior of houses or if you're more of a player who likes to uh, decorate rooms. So as you can see here the exterior was pretty much finished and I was just adding some additional details with uh, debug objects and also some uh, additional plants to uh, give it the final touch up uh, before I moved on to the interior. But at first I wanted to work on the roof because as I said it was just a mess, it, it was boring, it was flat so I just added a second roof on top of it to create some kind of porch roof which looks so much better in my opinion. You can see I also added some additional wallpaper just uh, to have a bit of contrast and I was pretty happy how the roof turned out at this point. And I was just rearranging some of the objects here. I put the catamaran somewhere else. Uh, you can't really see it here because I cut it out. It's in the back now. And then I moved on to the interior. And the first uh, thing I noticed was this giant rock poking through the wall. So I had to do something about this first before I could actually uh, do the interior and I tried to move it around. I liked the position from, from the outside but it was just uh, clipping through the wall too much. But eventually I figured out where to put it and I started to place down some lights because it was very dark in here and then I placed a double bed which was probably not the best decision because uh, this house is very very small. I think like 15 square meters so a uh, double bed seems a bit uh, too much for it but I really like the style of it and I'm not even sure if there is a single bed from the island living expansion. So those of you who have watched more of my longer videos are probably aware that I tend to jump around a lot while building from the interior to the exterior and back just because I have some ideas that I want to do right away and therefore 
I move around a lot while building. I hope th this is not too distracting for you. Anyway, I went back outside and started adding some more plants uh, because even though I said this should be more of a fun build and less realistic, I still wanted it to be somewhat realistic if that makes any sense. And therefore I wanted to have some uh, more fluid uh, transitions between uh, the build and the surrounding ocean. I also lowered the platform on the foundation just by one so I could have some kind of additional border around it just to add a little more detail as always and it added this very nice uh, stone border around the house which I really like and it also made the whole thing look a bit more realistic in my opinion as well. So because of this I had to rearrange some of the objects, especially the fences, which are debug objects by the way in case you're wondering. And then I noticed that I had no space for a bathroom, so I had to move the whole lot uh, to the front just to have a bit more space in the back because there was no way I could fit a bathroom in the house. So in case you're wondering why I was rearranging the whole lot, basically I wanted to do an outdoor toilet. so. I had to move it more to the front because there was no space in the back anymore and as you can see here I added an additional kind of dock where the toilet would be so I'm not sure if I would want to use one of those but I think it's just hilarious that the toilet is outside and you have a very nice view on the ocean of Sulani so um, you're probably wondering where's the shower and at first I thought yeah well we don't have a shower people just go and swim in the ocean and they're clean but in reality this wouldn't work because of the salt probably and i was thinking uh do people get clean in sims because i don't know when they go swimming and uh, as i wasn't sure i just uh wanted to add a shower so we have a shower inside which you will see uh, later on so the main problem here for not having a bathroom was basically not only the space constriction we had but also that there were so many windows and the kind of odd shape of the house so we couldn't really have a separate bathroom there and that's why the toilet is outside and the shower is basically in the living room which is also kind of weird but so i used to shower from uh, the island living expansion which has some kind of catch basin if that is the right word and so it actually makes kind of sense to put it inside but before I actually placed the shower where it would be, I just started to rearrange the kitchen area and also uh, I wanted to create a dining area first where you could actually sit. And as you know me, I want to have two chairs because one is weird and this was also very problematic for a small build like this one. Also the direction of the bat is kind of weird, but in the end I wanted to be this way just because uh, I think if I had a big window like this one I would want to uh, see the ocean when I'm lying in bed and not my front door so it's basically like this which also worked out with the dining area and then I added the shower I was talking about before I then started playtesting the lot which you can of course not see here because this is a speed build and it was kind of weird because at the very moment something called power preservation week or something like that started and the lights went out which was weird because I didn't know what was going on at first and I was just wondering why it's so dark in here so I had to go um, back to my sim and fast forward uh, time to uh, get the lights back on because I, I didn't know what was going on at first. So after the lights were back on I started to add some additional details around the house and also outside of course and you can see the window to the right here which was basically the main reason I couldn't have a separate bathroom because the wall would just go right through it and I wanted to keep the window just because I really liked it there. I then proceeded to add even more objects to the exterior just because that's what I always do. When decorating I always find stuff I want to use somewhere else. So inside I used a lot of those kind of traditional Sulani wall decorations which are very nice and some fruit for the table here. I also placed down a ceiling fan which I usually don't do because I think you're just in the way when you're playing but I think it's very fitting for uh, this particular kind of build just because Sulani is a very warm tropical uh, region. I also added some of those small ceiling lights just because I wanted 
the build to be very bright when you're actually playing with it so you can uh, see stuff because it was kind of dark in there even though we had already placed uh, two ceiling lights and also a lot of windows especially the big one but there wasn't much light coming in for whatever reason so as you can see here I wanted to add a bookshelf as well but it didn't really fit the style of the build and there was also not much space and I will, I'm not even sure if it would be functional here in the end I removed it just because there was no space so you could probably place a wall mounted bookshelf somewhere but I didn't want to use the ones from base game and there is none for uh, island living so I just uh, omitted the bookshelf so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did uh, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more you can of course download this build it's on the gallery my ID is in the description below as always see you next time peace out